Hello. Hi, how's it going, everybody? Welcome. Good to see you all here. Hi, Chad. Ooh, lots of people here. What's up, David and Air and the show? Sean and Henneke and uh, Blue Sp Sp Man Doff, Doff. <laughs> Rubber Duck, and of course, Liddy. Hi, everybody. Good to see a couple of people there chatting away already. Good to see you all here for uh, some more Train Sim World. We're going to take a look at the DLC, which I don't remember when it came out. I think it came out a few days ago. But uh, there's always train games coming out, dude. There's another one I want to play called Railway Corporation, which is like a train sim tycoon uh, management game. I'm waiting to get access to that one. But in the meantime, this should hold me over for my uh, train wants. So we're going to take a look at a new uh, train sim world DLC that brings us to the UK where we can haul a lot more freight. We can do passengers too, uh, but there's some new tr uh, freight haul train missions. So we'll give that a look here today. Thank you very much for supporting the channel and uh, being here. What's up, everybody? Oh yeah, that'd be me. Okay, perfect. So let's take a look. It's called Tease Valley Lime, and apparently it's a very uh, popular, very, uh, I guess, uh, important bygone era for British steel production. Let's go ahead and take a look at what objectives we have, or what would you call them, scenarios, I suppose, and see what we got. Hi there, Luca. How you doing, dude? Oh, you hate, you hate diesels? Well, that's what these are mostly going to be. I don't think there's really too many electric trains in this game, aside from the German ones. And they're like the DB class, so it's all good. Best YouTuber? Well, thanks. Wait, this is an introduction. Welcome to these class 37 slash 5 diesel electric locomotives. Didn't we already do this? Delivery. This brief introduction will go through the startup and stop procedures. Okay. The rear locomotive is already running with its tail lights on and its handbrake released. Climb aboard the lead locomotive to get started. Uh, the developer of the game is Dovetail Games. A lot of time will be spent driving, so take a seat to continue. Mouse is super sensitive. Hold on. Close the door, please. Okay, I guess we'll just drive with the door open. Okay, uh, sit down. Got it. The master key is used to activate the driver's controls.
Set the reverser as indicated in preparation to start the engine. Oh, these trains look cool. Oh, look at how nicely detailed it is. Very good, very, very good detail. Okay, uh, set the reverser to engine only. Roger. Old master Go key ahead to start. And start the locomotive. With the handbrake holding the locomotives, set the train brake as indicated. The main reservoir will take a moment to charge. This can be observed by watching the brake dials. Now use the reverser to set the direction of travel. Lights and a head coat are important to let anyone... Oh, sorry, I hit the button and then he stopped talking. My bad, sorry sir. Really cool looking train. I don't know why I like that so much. Alright, set the marker lights and instrument headlights to on. Oh, up here. Handbrake to release. To move. Set the handbrake as indicated. Oh, anonymous, thank you for subscribing. Uh... Really? We gotta turn this thing the whole time? I don't know if you can run trains off the tracks. I've never done it before. I know you can, like, fail objectives by going past, uh, signals and such, but I guess this one threw us right into the tutorial for this train, which is not, not bad. Then there's some scenarios we can get into where we can actually haul some steel. So right now we're just going through the setup process. Increase the throttle to start moving. Do not apply too much power too quickly. And we're away. There we go. With the train now moving, it's possible to apply more power and focus on achieving a desired speed. Coasting is a method used to efficiently maintain a constant speed. Make use of the brakes and throttle controls to manage the train and prevent overspeeding. Now, uh, what's the hotkey for brakes? New subscriber shout -out. Brian, thanks for seven. How do I donate? Well, there's a link in the description if you'd like to support that way. Otherwise, you can click or tap the Super Chat button, or you can become a member by clicking and tapping the little uh, the little Join button down there. A lot of people, like over hun hundreds and hundreds of people, become members every month. So if you want to support that way and get access to emotes and things, that's a good way to do it, too. Approaching the stop marker, apply a small amount of brake force to achieve a comfortable New stop. Subscriber shout out. Jonah, thanks for subbing. I thought we were going way too fast. That's why it's a tutorial, I guess. Yeah, the tuto the uh, thumbnail that's taken from this, their store, and yeah, the train looks it all looks very, very real. It's a very, uh, very realistic train simulator game for sure. Okay, let's turn that all off and shut her down. I guess a train stops on a dime when she's not fully loaded. Good work. That concludes all the basics of this locomotive. Yay! Cool. What's up, Stefan? How you doing? Okay, that's the tutorial of this train done. Alright, let's go ahead and... Uh, what's the next tutorial? I want to go to the main menu. I want to see what else there is. I don't think driving these trains is going to be too hard. But at least we're back uh, into BR territory again. Scenarios. Ah, here we go. 
Seaside Summer Special. Three becomes two. Ooh, Steelwork sh oh, Shunting is kind of boring. Oh, yeah, let's haul some coal, boys. Uh, let's see. Taking over a driver. Class 37 is waiting at Red Car Mineral Transport or Terminal. Uh, load up HEAs and take them to T's yard. Oh, yeah, let's, let's load up with some coal and haul out. What else is there? Latest shipment of steel product is ready to depart Lackenby. Operate the train on the first leg of its journey as far as Darlington. Huh. What do you guys want to haul? Should we haul steel or coal? What do you guys think? What would be cooler? A steel haul or a coal haul? What do you guys think? Steel or coal? What is cool? What is cool? What is coal? Steel or coal? Tommy, how you doing there? Hello? I'm going to pick one in a second. So this one is, let's see, the latest shipment of steel product is ready to depart Lack and B, operate the train on the first leg of its journey. And then the coal hauler is, we take over, It's oh, we have to actually load up? We actually have to load up with the coal on this one. So this one, we'll actually like drive the, the coal cars underneath the uh, hopper, and we'll see each one of the train cars load, and then we'll head down to the uh, to the steel mill, wherever it, or wherever it's going to be picked up. What do you guys think? I like the loading process, like of the coal. We might have to do that. That would be cool. Well, this one we actually have to load with the coal. I think I think we should do coal, and then we can do steel after. Let's start with coal. Let's see how that is. And then we'll do steel after that one. Hey, thanks again, guys, for subscribing today. And thanks for supporting the channel, clicking and tap like and all that stuff. All the stuff you guys do. Thanks, as always, for the support. Uh-oh, that doesn't look good. Welcome to Red Car 1 Terminal. This coal is to be delivered as far as T's Yard, where it can be hauled further afield. On couple and run around the rear. Let me make sure these aren't loaded. How do I, uh... You want me to go around the other side? What do you get if you join? Uh, your name will pop up here. You'll get your name highlighted in green. You'll get a badge next to your name. You'll get a bunch of emotes. Uh, we can play games together. You can have a private chat on the Discord and everything like that, too. Alright, so it looks like these are completely empty, so we are going to have to fill these up with coal. That's going to be really cool. This is why you do the tutorial? I did do the tutorial. But now I'm stuck. Uh-oh. No tutorial can get me out of this. I'm stuck in the ladder. I don't even know how that happens. Marcy, thanks for the 999. Appreciate that. Uh-oh. So I can basically pay you to be my friend. <laughs> I mean, yeah, that's one way to look at it. But you can also support the channel for all the bills I gotta pay, like internet and power and health insurance. You know, things do not, not die. You know, all the fun stuff. Okay, apparently this is goofed. I don't know how to get out of here. Oh, there we go. There we go. Okay, we got it. Okay, I broke free. Whew. That was a close one. Also, cl closing the door in this train seems almost to be impossible. Like, I have to look at the chair in order to close the door. Okay. Set the master key to on. Roger. New subscriber shout out. That reverser to forward. Brake running. I forget what the brake controls are. Is it this one? Yes. All right, let's roll. Greetings from Denmark. Hello. Hi, Denmark. Wait a minute. Rexel, thanks for seven.
So I think we're going to back in and pick up some other uh, stuff here. Some other cars, and then we're going to load with coal. So this should be pretty cool. So this is like a huge steel facility. Is that all coal over there? Or are they doing construction? Look at all that. I think that's all coal. Yeah, okay, I think we're going to have to reverse. Let's turn the cab light on so I can actually see what I'm doing. There we go. Alright. Flip the brakes back on. Yeah, look at all that. That is... Look at this. That is crazy, the amount of coal. It's awesome. Okay, now let's back in and pick up some other cars. We're set reverser. Reverse. Train brake off. And 5%. Oh, cool. There's another train coming by. There's a lot of coal here. This is insane. Look at all the, look at all the, tr the coal. There we go. Red car one terminal includes manual junctions. Ensure they are set correctly before proceeding in and out of sidings. All right. So now we got to go out and do it. Got to do it the, the old-fashioned way. Uh, except how do I get back to first person? There we go. All right. So this means we got to set manual junctions. Okay. Let's see. So that means we got to flip this, right? Wait, is that... Okay, that looks good. We're going all the way back this way. How do I bring up the... Uh, an enter? I forget how to bring up the map in this game. Okay. Yeah, that looks good to me. Yeah, you can set the switch over the map, but I want to get out and do it. Makes it a little more enjoyable to kind of walk around. Okay. Let's uh, get ready to reverse. She's chugging away, isn't she? There we go. Looking pretty good. Yeah, we don't have to go much faster than this, to be honest. Maybe, like, just under ten. Uh, where's the face cam? Obviously not on. I just have it off now to stay focused on the game at hand. Uh, where's the graph at? I don't, what, I don't know what graph. Uh, play the aisle, maybe. Make sure you click or tap the, uh, join button so that way you can make suggestions on the Discord. Hello, Guy. How you doing? Hi, everyone. Good to see everybody in chat. Wow, we were hauling. I had it on, like, 10%. You look over to give a couple of hellos and buoy. Doing, like, 90 Oh, graffiti, I see. Yeah, it's uh, probably... They probably won't put it on there because they're using real company and real world logos. So they don't want to, uh, you know... Uh, what would you say? Um, muddy the the integrity. It's the same as like an American Truck Simulator, how trucks won't take damage. Like, the trucks physically won't take damage. Not only because, one, it's a lot easier to make the game without having to model damage. But then also, two, the truck companies want to 
kind of maintain this mystical thing that says, like, their trucks have never been in any sort of accident whatsoever. Yellow badge. Good for you. Yeah. Excellent. Is this game on Steam? Answer. Check Steam. All you guys gotta do is just check Steam. That's all you gotta do. Pricing, availability, discounts, all that can be answered via Steam. Wow, this train is nimble. It moves so quickly compared to the German trains. I am not used to this at all. And this is just the one car. This is crazy. Uh, it's raining really hard in Nebraska. Well, Marcy, you better bring an umbrella. All right, let's go forward again. Uh, reverser. It's not going. Uh-oh. Brake is charging. There we go. Okay. Now we got to roll forward a little bit. Hello from Estonia. Well, hello to you too. Well, actually, we're still rolling. I guess we'll have the service break on when we switch. That might be the procedure. All right. It hasn't been so long since I played this, so I'm a little better than usual, but of course... I, I think this is my first steel mill that we've ever gone to in the game. The American one, I don't I don't know if you can drop it off at a steel mill in the uh, CSX uh, portion of the game. All right, stop at coal wagons. Ah, so we're going to bump into them and then go the other way. Cool. All right, let's go pick them up. Ooh, all right. You can show me the ropes of the game if, I, if you join. Well, I probably will just learn everything by trial and error and going through the tutorials. But a lot, of, a lot of what I do is mostly just kind of a first look at what's new. Oh, that's right. We have to switch the... Uh... God, we... I clicked that and it didn't go back. I'll have to back up again. All the uh, signals here, or the junctions, are manual. So even if I stop the train and go to the map, I'm not sure if you can actually change them from the map, even though they say manual. So we'll see. So we got to reverse again just to get back onto that junction. Do, 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 do. What are some of these other controls? Low speed switch, engine start, sander, slave cutout. Greetings from Holland. Well, hello. All right, let's try this again, boys. All right, bring her to a full stop. And the junction is right there. Now, I wonder if I can do this from the map. Let's come to a full stop and check. Because I don't know if it lets you do that in this DLC. So I am left clicking and it is not changing. Though it might be manual. Oops. Hello, William. Thank you for subscribing. Is this for console? I believe this is only uh, for PC at the moment. Okay, so we cannot change things from the map. We will have to get out to do that. Uh, let's head back into the train. And I'm assuming the slow speed will probably be used for loading coal. I've done that before with the CSX trains, and they have a similar thing. It's more of a computer control rather than these old 60s trains. Um...
All right, let's roll. Ah, uh, yes, this is a class 37. That is correct. So we're going to pick up some coal up there. And another job that we can do is transport steel. It is on Xbox? Oh, really? I don't I, I don't I didn't ever see any Xbox where. Well, that's why you got to check. Don't don't listen to me, just check. Thank you, Anonymous, for subscribing. Appreciate that. trains really come to a stop quickly. We'll see how they work when they are loaded with coal. Anonymous, thanks for seven. Alright, there we go. Alright, a couple of the Wagons pull up to the locomotive, touch the wagons, climb down, and hook the couplings together manually. Okay. Hello there, code name. How you doing, my man? Is there fall damage when hopping out? No, it's a simulator that just mostly simulators the it's a simulator focused on the trains. So there's really no no real focus paid to personnel and stuff like that. Gonna want to bump them a little bit, I think. How close are we? All right, so we're gonna need to do a little bumping. Okay, so much for that. They didn't even. <laughs> Wow, it pushed the train back. I'm actually impressed by that. Usually it comes to a dead stop right on top of the car. Let's try that again. There we go, that's what we're looking for. You gotta hit it with a little bit more speed, otherwise it just bumps right off. Okay, let's get out of the train and go hook everything up. Also, probably do that. There we go. Do 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 do. You finished the observation stream last night. Cool. Where's the ladder here? Oh, all right. Okay. Now we're hitched. Now it's time to load up with some coal. So it's time to switch to the front train now. Let's close this. Enter shutdown procedure. Can't go any further. There we go. Reverse her two off. Whoa, 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 whoa. Cool. Now we'll go back to the other train. 
Is there a compartment here that we can walk through? I don't think so. Let's turn off these lights, though. Yeah, this game is a lot of fun. I'm really having fun with it so far. And if you're having fun, too, make sure you let me know you like trains by uh, clicking and tapping that like button. I'd love to take a look at more train simulator games and also train building games where you build stations and layout rail and everything like that. So if this is the channel for you, make sure you click or tap that subscribe button, too. Your name should pop up here for all the support. And say hello to Dave, everybody. Good to see you, Dave. Thanks for joining us. All right, great. Uh, this tr We're in uh, the Tees Valley right now in the United Kingdom. So we're uh, about ready to load up with some coal. And then we're going to deliver it at a uh, steel mill somewhere nearby. This is way more interesting to me, loading up and doing all this, than it is to uh, just do the uh, like the, uh, the steel hall, which is cool, too. Alright, wait for the charge. Alright, set to rate break to running. RC, thanks again for the 999. Appreciate that. Thank you very much for the support today, everybody. Greatly appreciated. Happy to see so many people subscribing and supporting. Alright, train break is set to running. Reverser is set to engine only. Set controller to one. Loco brake off. Reverser to forward. Apply front throttle. And away we go. In a minute, anyway. Will there be steam trains? I don't know about that. I'd like to see that. That'd be cool. Maxim, thanks for subbing. So now we're going to enter the uh, ore terminal loader. So that should be all the coal and everything dropping down from up above into the cars. Slowly but surely. a slow process to load with coal. Not too much coal, though. I wonder if this is coal here or just a pile of rock. It looks like just gravel. Alright, boys, let's stand on the catwalk and watch her come in. Get your camera, boys. It's going to be pretty. You are a good moderator? Yes. Ludi is a very good moderator, as well as Riley and all the other ones who are assigned to it. It's nice that they drop by on occasion and help out when they can. Every time I'm live, they're not required to be here, but it's nice to see them there. Alright, so we're... Basically, the coal is coming through here and dropping in from either side to load onto the train. What's up, Eric? Good to see you. Yeah, the, the thumbnail certainly looks like a real picture. I thought so, too, when I was looking through the uh, screenshots of the Steam store, but it's really good. Where's Pinto? I think uh, somewhere in a plane right now. I don't know where exactly, but he's traveling abroad, like usual, but I can't, I can't tell you where. Right, so the objective is to go to via location. see this thing drop off uh, coal. Wait, freight like this is so much more interesting than passengers. Alright, so now we just load up the coal. Let's hop up here on the catwalk and watch it all happen. It's 
Some people like to roll coal. I like to watch it load. Yeah, we'll see if we go up a hill. I haven't really experienced this new train line very much. I only did a tutorial and now we're loading up with coal. So far, so good. Lots of fun. But I think we have... Oh, about ten more coals or uh, coal cars to go or something like that. Yeah, pretty good detail. This is very cool compared to the American one you're outside just on the side of the track. This one's got a huge facility. So this could be used for a power plant or probably steel mills is where we're going when we get there. We'll drop it off more than likely out of the bottom of the car. About halfway there now. Just about. 999 from Marcy saying, how do you get moderator? Oh, you just be an early and active uh, member of our community for a long time. And right now we don't need any more. But if there's ever the need, I'll start asking around. There's something relaxing about watching this go, isn't there? Not much longer. It's like five cars and then we're done. Can we do two kilometers? Well, the British, I think, deal with miles per hour. And we could probably go 2.7, but it instructed me to go one, so I will just uh, follow the rules. Last thing I need to do is goof anything up. Hi there, uh, Lee. How you doing, my man? Welcome. And Shana French, thank you very much for the 99 cents. You almost spelled your, your na my name wrong? Oh, don't worry. It happens all the time. I just started watching you. My buddy's been watching for almost two years and told I had to watch. Love the channel so far. Well, good. Thank you very much. And hello there, Dominic. Now's a good time for me to read chat because I'm really just... I'm in cruise control right now doing one mile an hour while we're loading about three more coal cars after this one. I think you can also haul concrete in this game. Limestone, uh, a few other things in the British... I think... Is it the Great Western maybe that has some... There's some more freight that you can do, so it's pretty cool. Uh, the number in the top right of the screen is, like, points for completing the mission appropriately into guidelines. So essentially, the higher your score, the better train driver you are. Okay, two more cars. Last one's just squeezing in now. And she's almost done. Last car is right here. Can we play this in reverse? Uh, we're about to. By when we get to our destination, we'll have to drop off the coal underneath. Okay. That's all the wagons loaded. Let's bring it to the train over to T's yard. Okay. 1.8 kilometers away? Or is that our first destination? Alright, let's pick up the pace.
Alright, there's all of our cars loaded with coal. Do you remember chicken man fries? I sure do. I sure do. There's a little car there for shunting. A little train used to push cars around. Short distances. Hi there, Robert. How you doing? Can I talk about some of the controls? Uh, the controls are the same as you would find in a train. You got your throttle, your reverser, ray. It's all dependent on the train, too. There's many different trains in the game. But you can only use this one here. Yeah, I like the DLC so far. Yep, we're hauling coal around now for the uh, steel mills. Wow, look at that. Uh, what happened to American Truck Sim? Uh, the game is still on sale and available now on Steam. Donna says hello to Ethan. Aiden Orr, thank you for subbing. Appreciate that. Yeah, I think these uh, cars unload from the bottom. You can see the little funnels at the bottom there. Subscriber shout out. Mr. Roy, thanks for seven. Appreciate that. Anonymous, thanks for seven. What happened to the American Truck Sim live streams? They're still available on the channel. Check the playlist. They haven't disappeared or moved. They should still be there. Check the channel. That's pretty. Get your cameras, boys. Yeah, this is on, I think, the highest graphics it can go. Uh, Ripper, you would know that answer if you watched the last episode of Austria. Make sure you watch the episode in its entirety. Yes, you can blow the train horn in this game. Yes, I like simulation games. And yes, there'll be more American Truck Simulator. Just check the channel. Just keep watching. I can only do one thing at a time. And today we got to drive some trains. And we're going to stop pretty soon.
Alright guys, I'm just learning that there's an Arby's opening up, so I gotta go. Dave, you drive, I gotta go. Just kidding. Okay. Do we request permission to pass a danger? No route available. If I go past that line, we're going to fail the mission. This actually happens sometimes in the uh, in the game where the signal won't change, but it might be because that train is there. Yeah, sometimes you have to wait, but I have seen it a few times in some of their new DLCs where the signals stay red forever, and you have to like reload in order to get it to register that. But we will see if it changes. So we got to go seven kilometers that away. So let's take a look at the map and see what it looks like. Okay, so you can see all the train lines. Look at that. We got to go about that distance there. Cool. All right, we're just going to wait. Ability to go. Yeah, nap simulator, yeah. Oh, there we go. Good, finally. Good, good, good. Glad we didn't have to restart or anything. Oops, there we go. There we go. Now we can move at a much faster speed as soon as we get just out of here. What do you guys think so far? You guys uh, really like trains, cargo trains, or uh, passenger trains? Wh which ones do you guys like a little bit more? Because they certainly have their own appeal, each of them. Uh, this is older. This is like the 60s trains. I think I think we're simulating it in the 60s, too. So I think the game jumps around to different uh, time periods, like there's more modern trains, there's more electric trains, and then of course, it seems like the, the, the British get all the old classic stuff, the Americans get the modern stuff from like the 90s to today, and then the Germans seem to get all the futuristic or current stuff. Americans have some of it too, but a lot of it seems to be most of it seems to go to the Germans. This is the 80s? Uh, could be. They do mention that it's uh, an out-of-date line that's going through maintenance, but I don't know if they used these trains back in the 80s. But if anything, they, they mention what it is, but you can I mean, we can pretend that this is 1981 if we want to. Nothing, nothing really stops us. And we could say it was 91 if we wanted to. Or 2001 and we're on some, you know, recreation journey or something. Ah, who knows, you know. It's a computer game. You can make it whatever you want. Okay, so then we just need to get about six kilometers down the line to deliver our coal. There kind of is a free mode. You can set up your own uh, destinations and things, weather, 
and train and time of day. There's a, there's a few customization options where you can do pretty much whatever you want. Close to it. Alright, now we can open up the throttle a little bit. Get up to about like 40 kilometers. Weekly game review, thanks for stepping. Alright, for those of you who wanted to speed, watch out boys. We might we might crack 90 today. Watch out. Going full speed. Oh, the vehicles look like they're from the 80s, too. Uh, they have the United States, Germany, and uh, the UK for lines at the moment. Andrew, thanks for seven. Uh, what's my favorite train? A uh, gravy train. Uh, Timmy, check the links down below. Everybody make sure before you ask a question to check the uh, frequently asked questions down below. Click or tap show more. That is the uh, description down there. Make sure you read that in its entirety. And 99% uh, of your questions can be answered down there. just being told to slow down now so I'm just backing off the throttle quite a bit what is over there there could be some multitude of steel mills and things over here actually I think that might be an Arby's yeah that looks about right for an Arby's Chinese passenger train DLC? Absolutely. I'd love to see some Asian trains, too. Be cool to see uh, South Korea, Japan, China. There is a new game coming soon called uh, Orient. 
uh, what is it? Tra uh, what is it called? Oh, I think it's Trans Siberian Simulator, something like that. I can't remember the exact name, but it looked funny. Oh yeah, it's an Arby's factory. That's where the Arby's are made. I need to get an Arby's sponsorship. I make so many jokes about Arby's. About time. Otherwise, I'm going to start switching to Wendy's. Is a Siberian Railway Sim really coming? Yes, it is. I think if you just Google it, like look, uh, go on, actually YouTube, there's probably a trailer for it. And it's kind of like Ice Road Truckers meets My Summer Car meets, it's not very, it's realistic, but it's kind of got a funny tone to it. It's not, it's not new, new. Yeah, this is a new route. It's called the uh, Tees Valley. And it's uh, primarily focused on British steel production, so it has a lot of coal and a lot of iron to it. And also, of course, you can transport the steel to wherever it needs to go. Yeah, KFC sponsorship would be good, yep. Yeah. That would be good. We'll just roll right in. That's right, Lamar. We got trains rolling through this this chat. We got we got a tr railroad crossing going on. We're delivering this over here to the Arby's. They're they're having a big barbecue. They're having that slow cooked roast beef. Alright, get on everybody, we're going to Arby's. No? Okay. Guess no one wants to come with. Alright, I'm leaving. My beef and cheddar, two ninety nine. You don't want anything to drink or a side? Okay. You want the potato cakes or the curly fries? Does anyone know how to get that job? You mean to be a train driver? I mean, I guess you could apply for it and go through the proper training channels. It's certainly, probably a lot. I wonder if there's more pilots or if there's people who drive trains. Huh. Good question. I wonder if there are more airplane pilots or more train drivers. 
I feel like there'd be more pilots. I mean, you got people who take, like, personal flight lessons and things like that. I mean, if you think about all the Air Force pilots and all the commercial pilots and private pilots. Because with trains, they're pretty much owned by companies. Nobody owns, like, a private train. <laughs> you know, you gotta... You gotta go on somebody's uh, land. So I think there'd probably be more airline pilots. But if we were taking a look at just commercial airlines versus trains, I still think there would be more... 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 many, many more pilots than train drivers, I think. Subways? Yeah, I guess we could get into that. You could get into the... the nitty-gritty of saying, okay, what kind of pilots, you know? But it's all good. Train's heading to salt burn. The Queen has a private train? Oh, that's true. Well, probably not used as much as cars now. Trains used to be much faster and efficient modes of method of transport until like the 70s and 80s. According to Google, there were 700,000 pilots in 2000 and only 105,000 train drivers in the U.S. Okay, wow. So like 1 to 7? Makes sense. Got a long way to go, short time to get there. Well, this mission said it would take an hour, I guess. That's about right. I wonder if we have to unload this or if it'll just be like, okay, bye, get out the train. It can go either way. Are we going to McDonald's? Oh, we'll have to turn around. I'll find a driveway to pull into and we'll just back her in. Oh, that's true. Yeah, FedEx and UPS. Yeah, they have trucks and semi-trucks and aircraft, but no trains. <laughs> trains only pay off if you're hauling a huge amount of cargo. Uh, continuously to the same directions. Thank you, Matt, for the two ninety nine. Thanks for driving more trains. Yes, of course. Wow, it's got to be like the most relaxing of the DLCs I played so far. But he's getting hungry for burgers, I can see. That's good. Gonna need a lot of uh a lot of charcoal we're hauling for the big old barbecue.
Uh, how much of it can be automated or is it all manual? Um, I mean, there are certain trains that have automatic elements to them if you're playing the German DLCs, but these trains are all manual. That's a road that goes nowhere. The end of that bridge seemed to just come to a stop and was like an end of a cliff. Hello there, Voixmar. Uh, awesome, we did uh, play Derail Valley again. Make sure you guys check the channel. All you guys gotta do is check the channel for those videos. Go to the channel, type in Derail Valley in the upper right corner, and you should see it. Or type in Derail Valley Raptor. You should be able to watch along. That was a fun one. Yeah, the sun's right in our face. There we go. There you go, Dave. Okay. Lots of cool stuff in this train. You're from Belgium? Awesome. Cool. Good to see everybody watching from all over the world. Welcome. And there goes one fully loaded with steel. So we're bringing in the coal. And there goes the steel. Does Dave like Arby's? He does. That's why we allowed him to be in this train today. Otherwise, we would have kicked him out. if they will bring Canada in this game, it'd be cool to go up to the Yukon and really would like to do the northwestern United States and try to do some interesting train lines in the U.S. I think right now it's only East Coast U.S. PC specs? Check the description. All you got to do is click or tap show more. 99% of the questions can be answered down below.
Hello Raptor, I love your video and uh, what you show as a video. Thank you for beefing a YouTuber. Absolutely, dude. Now is that ground beef or is that like a, a steak? I prefer ground beef, that'd be fine. I'd like some burgers right now. That would be nice. And thank you for the compliment, dude. Well, this one certainly is a slow and go. Bringing coal from the storage yard down the line to uh, the steel mill. Look at all those cars full of coal or empty. Well, that's why they've got so many train lines there. Look at that. That's just insane. Yeah, this is a train sim. Hello, Benjamin. How you doing? almost to our destination. So we loaded up all this coal, now we gotta bring it up here. We're almost there. Just about 800 meters away. What is that, a canal or something? Looks like a trench or something going along there. Uh, I don't know about hauling gas or fuel. I mean, there's all sorts of different cars. Sometimes they call them mixed freight. And I think I've seen cisterns before. All right, before we go any further, I want to check and see if we have to switch the line at all. Gonna bring us right there, right? Okay. Okay, we're almost there. This should be the end of the line. Unless they let us pull in. I think we're just going to drop off the coal. But I don't know if we're supposed to... Uh I think we're heading west, liquid motion. I think we... Let's take a look at the map. Well, if this is north... If up is north, then we've headed uh, northwest. I'm so sorry, southwest from the northwest section. <clears throat> All right, we're almost there. Almost there, I'm getting excited, woo! Well, when we drop this off, I think we complete our objective, which is just to haul coal for this scenario. Let's get ready to break and bring her to a stop.
All right, we're almost there. Perfect. And that's it. Cool. We hauled the coal. Nice. Very good. All right, let's go on to the next one. Let's see if we can uh, figure out how to haul steel now. I'm already liking this DLC with the cargo. That's for sure. Wait, what? No, I don't want to do this one. Let's go back to the main menu. And try a different one. Do 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 do. All right, scenarios. We got to go to Darlington. All right, we'll see how far we get to this one in the next couple minutes. You're bringing ribs. Just to blow your gilla ribs there, uh, Lude. Uh, do the points do anything? I I don't know. People always ask me that, and I've never found anything that they actually do. So I don't I don't know. I don't think so. Oh, sandbags, guys. We got to set up a wall here. It's all cement. What's somebody doing? Building a patio or something? All right, let's get going. Oh, you look like me. New subscriber shout out. Right, thanks for subbing. All right, master key to on. How do I turn on these? Manual wipers? What the? Oh, there we go. Oh, that's going to be wonderful. Okay, this train is super heavy according to what they say. We're fully loaded with steel. Actually, no. What we're doing right now is we're bringing 10 million American online CDs <laughs> to the post office. And it looks like that train's trying to beat us. We can't let them get there before us. Each one of these are a stacked up AOL CD, like 10 million CDs. Ooh, look at that. Why can't we hold this steel? Is there a way to slow this wiper down? God, it's either on like super loud or no. I guess I'll do it manually. Alright, so go to South Banks. We got, uh, how long to go? 2.9 kilometers? Alright, this one should be much faster than the steel train because, or the coal train. Because the steel one will just be the actual delivery rather than the loading too. It better not crash. Look at that wiper. Look at how fast I am. Look at this. I'm like faster than Ninja in Fortnite. Look at that. Yeah, you're jealous, aren't you? Give me that look. Bringing burgers and beer? Good. I'm glad everybody came out to the barbecue. We had a lot of coal there. That's a, Imagine that. If, 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 a, if a train car full of coal, like, toppled over in your backyard and nobody noticed and you had, like, all that coal. Well, first of all, it's not the same as charcoal. But let's just say it was charcoal. Do you know how, like, often you could barbecue outside? Like, every meal you could just, you know, cook on bar like, on, as a barbecue. You know, like, even if you went to make an egg... You would just have to, like, light up the barbecue. You would have to. So 
Uh, set the wiper all the way to the left. Like this. And then slowing that. What? Ooh. Cool. Somebody knows their trains. So if I do... If I do this, does that make it go faster? Let's try this. That's still a little fast. I like I like the dramatic wipe. Look, look at the dramatic wipe. Oh, I see. I see what you mean. Yeah, that's that's pretty good. Who needs a barbecue when you cook cook in the outback sun in Australia? Well, you still want to have shrimps on the barbie unless you're going to get some sort of a like a magnifying glass to burst anything within that range into flame. All right, we'll be able to pick up speed soon. Welcome to all the new subscribers. Again, if you like Train Sim World, make sure you click or tap that like button to let me know and just let your voice be heard. If you like trains, you may as well say so to support the channel. And uh, thanks to everybody for all their big O super chats today. Appreciate that. We are slowing down. We better pick up that speed now. We're on an incline. There we go. Pick it up, boys. I wonder, is this better than Train Sim 2019? I feel like this game is more... I've seen that game, and this one's more realistic looking, and I, I like it, but that's not a... That doesn't mean it's a bad game. Graphics don't always mean better game. I mean, you know, we all found that out when Minecraft came out. Graphics on Minecraft are like... WTF is this, but it's not about that. It's about the... It's about the gameplay. Then the graphic mods came later. This thing is basically just a giant semi truck on rails. It just sounds like it too, doesn't it? Doesn't it just sound like an idling Peterbilt or Kenworth? It just sounds like a semi truck sitting at the light. We don't want to go too fast either, because the signal ahead is yellow, which means the next one could be red. Anthony, thanks for seven. You want your little wiper on too? Here, let me help you. There you go. See? That's how it works. There you go. Is this what every day in, in the UK looks like? Is this how it always is? Wow, more train tracks under there too. Jeez. That is just like train track on top of train track. Why is Dave wearing a suit? He's got a job interview after this. When you gotta conduct a train at 9am. But Wow, look at that. He's actually got like fancy shoes on. Maybe this is just how they do things in Britain. They're always usually like nicely dressed for things like this.
Oh, it gives the nickname tractor because it sounds like an agricultural tractor. I could see that too. It certainly sounds like it. Bum 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 bum. Raining all the time, yeah. That's what I meant. It's kind of something nice about the rain, though. It's always kind of, it's peaceful. I feel. The rain is always nice when it when it rains for me, anyway. Maybe some people don't notice it, or it's different where you live. But for me, when it rains, it's usually like all day. It rained all day yesterday for me. It's kind of nice. I got to just kind of look outside and just be like, oh, it's raining. Makes me feel like time stands still. All right, we got to stop in less than a thousand meters now. So let's slow on down, boys. There we go. Well, it looks like everything came with us. What am I wearing? Well, I've... I don't know, I was going to say something fancy about clothes, but I really don't know anything fancy about clothes. Uh, like, where I am now, I guess, I'm wearing uh, shorts and a t-shirt, but in here I'm wearing... Let's see what... Let's actually see what I got on the game. Oh yeah, just a suit too. Dude literally looks like me. Just a shorter version of me. So we're going to just pull up real, real slow. We're going to sneak up on this steel mill. They're never going to see us coming. Actually, I wonder where we're bringing it now. Because this is finished steel, right? But it could possibly be made into something else. This could be a, another factory that makes lunch boxes or tool kits or uh, car doors. I mean, who knows? You know, we are not actually going to have to stop up here, so I can just pick up the speed. I was thinking that we were going to come to a stop, but that's not going to be the case here. Just have to make sure we don't go too fast. Let's open her up, boys. Three point three kilometers is all we got to go.
Okay, she's open up full throttle. Let's see how far we can go. Well, so much for opening it up. Yeah, so we're switching over to the other side of the track. Oh, now we've got wheel slippage. Come on, baby. Give me that speed. There we go. Cool. All right. Do I think I'll play Total War anymore? Well, we'll see. I really enjoyed it the first time I played it, but I'm uh, always trying out what's new and fresh. So sometimes my schedule to go back and play old things is not the best. But Total War was really enjoyable. And uh, I must say, I've never played one of those games before. And that is going to be a game that takes way more than, like, five days to play. Like, that, that's like when you play Monopoly. Like, you should play the Total War campaign over the course of days. Come back fresh. Make sure you know what you're doing, how things are going, you know. Keep yourself refreshed. see exactly where we have to go here. I think we actually have to end up down over here somewhere, but this is a pretty easy scenario. We're just going to have to kind of increase and decrease speed and then stop eventually at our destination. So this is kind of typical of the American one that we played on. The American one is beautiful because you get to be next to a river the whole time, but this is gorgeous because you get to be in an industrial area. And here's a port right here. We're actually heading around the uh, dock area. Cranes and everything load. That's cool. Thank you, Ryan Moore. I appreciate that. Good to have you here. And thanks to everybody for clicking and tapping the subscribe button. And thanks for all the super chats today, too, everybody. Very nice of you all. Glad we're enjoying this. I don't know what I'm going to play tomorrow. 
But I'm certainly, like, really relaxed with this. Like, it's actually... I can see it's sunny outside, and I'm trying to avoid the window so I can, like, pretend like it's raining. You know what I mean? You're still a member? Yes, you are, Joker's Wildcard. Thank you for becoming one. So now we got to stop at Eagle's Glyph, about two kilometers away. I'm going to pick up speed just a little bit. Even though we're not supposed to. Yogan, thank you very much for subbing. It's raining for you? Yeah, I would imagine that uh, half our viewers are probably raining, half our viewers are in the sun. I could imagine that. Anonymous, thank you for subscribing. Oh wow, 8.9 kilometers. We gotta go a long way. Well, no wonder this says it's going to take 60 minutes because it's just a long distance at a, sh at a slow speed. Eight kilometers at 30 kilometers an hour. Anonymous, thank you very much for subscribing. All right, boys, let's do some math. Raptor is poorly piloting a train westbound at 38 kilometers an hour. His destination is 8.7 kilometers away. How many subscribers will unsubscribe by the time he gets there? Answer, all of them. Got him. <laughs> Thank you, Jetty Boy, for seven. I'm going to just try to go a little faster just so we don't have to wait as long. But we'll see how it goes. We're loading up with a lot of uh, bales of steel. I don't know exact. That might be made to. Might be how they make wires and such. Maybe they roll it. Not entirely sure. Well, there goes coal back to the steel mill. So in goes coal, and out goes uh, out goes steel. Seven point eight kilometers. I've watched your videos multiple times, though the first time live feed, I always see them after you finish your broadcast. Well, good timing today for both you and me. Wow, this is actually very peaceful. Again, this game is really good. Like, if you've got grandchildren, or you know, an, uh, a nephew, or a son, or you know, daughter, whomever is interested in trains, where you want to get them interested in trains, this is a really good way to link uh, both realism and like uh, kind of gameplay together. So you can show them how the train works, and show them all these landmarks and things like that, and then have them, you know, sit. You know, they can sit in the chair, and you can go through all the instructions and show them how things work. It's very exciting when the train, you know, starts to move, and you kind of are hauling all this powerful or all this heavy equipment with this very powerful vehicle. Seven point two kilometers to go. Very nice. Is this as good as Ace Combat? I'd say this is different. I love Ace Combat. I, I am such a... I mean, I want to say I'm a big fan, but I mean, I think truly Ace Combat fan is the big, 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 big fan. So I'll just say I'm a big fan. And that man is a big, 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 big fan. But uh, it's a cool game. I love all the simulation games. And, uh, you know, that's more of an arcade simulation game. But it's a game that... 
you know, you can qualify as something else. I don't know. So it's a really good game. Same with this one. But in, in 2019, there are so many games that are so different from each other, it's hard to compare some games to others. You, you saw a snail run by the train, I know. We're going so slow. We have to, though. This is the speed we're, we're told to proceed at. If I go faster than this and we're told to stop for any reason, uh, and we go past the signal, then we get we basically get fired. Or essentially the game stops and we have to do it all over again. Lodi, are you the only one that remembers Infra? I'd like to go back and do that game again, but I need to forget it more in order to do it again to make it fresh. I remember a lot of it. Play Star Trek Online. You know, the new Picard uh, teaser came out recently. So Picard is coming back to uh, Enterprise. I don't know if that means everyone else is coming back, but we'll see. be an interesting uh, thing to see. Man, we're just proceeding at the correct speed. This is crazy. Yeah, I'd like to see some... I think most of all I'd like to see Japan in this game. I'd like to see Asian countries. Um, I'd also like to see France. And uh, more passenger rail. Especially high speed lines. They, I think those would just be the coolest to see the terrain blowing by as you're doing like... You know, two, I don't know. I don't know how fast some of the French trains go. But love the idea of high speed train travel. I think that's a great idea. Unfortunately, the United States is just a little too big for tra high-speed trains to be effective, but, I mean, in Japan, in a couple hours, you can be in one end of the country and the, to the other. It's amazing. Take a look at the train so far. Good DLCs. Um, <clears throat> I would say that freight train uh, DLCs like this are among my favorite, for sure. Do I prefer this or Men of War? Well, that's that's like asking, hey, do you prefer action movies or do you like reading a book? Like they're kind of different. They're both consuming media, but they're they're a little different media. One is a strategy game based around the Second World War, and this is a simulation game based around transporting cargo. They're very different, but they're both games. That's like comparing a steak to a salad. And to be honest, I think I like a steak more if I've had a salad before it. And I think I've had, I, I like a salad if I know a steak is coming. All right, five kilometers away. And the game looks very realistic. It's a very, very nicely done game. In fact, you can make it even more realistic by pressing that. Does the window open? I thought I could open the window on this train. Yeah, this train route is meant to be slow. We're hauling some pretty heavy cargo, but there's that's why there's multiple lines, too. So that way tra trains take forever to come up and down this line. We're going eight kilometers. We've gone about halfway now. Men of War, Steel Division. Again, kind of different. One's macro, one's micro. I don't know. I don't really like picking... I, it's all about what I'm in the mood for, you know what I mean? Like, if you ask me after, like, an eight-hour plane plane ride and you're like hey what do you want to get for dinner I, anything anything sounds good like literally it's like hey do you want taco shells with ice cream in them yes it's so that sounds like the best thing ever yes but then other times it's like oh i'd like to have a you know a steak with some asparagus and mashed potatoes yeah the guy next to me is wearing a suit 
These are just like generic characters for... Yeah, I don't even know why he's here. He's supposed to operate the handbrake and a few other things, but... Right now we're good. Alright, let's boost up the speed a little bit. we got a little incline here. Hold on, Dave. I'm, I'm putting her in a turbo. Alright, hold on, everybody. We're getting crazy now. We're, go we're going into warp, warp 9. Hitting plaid. Oh, look at that, boys. We can open her up to 72 once we climb up to the top. Perfect. I'm making coffee. Raptor or friends want a cup of Australian-made coffee? It's great coffee. Sure. I always have wanted to go to Australia, too. I've got a lot of friends in a lot of places. The problem is we're all at parts in our life where just things, time, we're all busy. Everybody, some people are in college. Some people are getting married. Some people are raising kids. And always, everyone's always like, hey, you're welcome over any time. But every time seems always like the worst time. Holidays, time differences, scheduling. Ugh. But at least I feel welcome all over the world. James Hall, thank you for subbing. Yeah, we probably won't go over speed. We probably won't even hit that speed until we have to slow down. looks like a really low signal. Did that clip through the train at all? Yeah, we've gone to plaid. Watch it, boys. Train's starting to shake now. Well, we're, we're engaging warp, warp 20. Dave, come on. Play along. Be more realistic. Oh, it's... Oh! Harlow, thanks for seven. Alright, boys. 2.9 kilometers to go now. I noticed your PC equipment. Can you mention a little about your desk? Do you use it or standing or sitting? Um, it's a it's a sitting desk, but you can. The problem is you can make it a standing desk, but you got to take all the things off of it in order to do that. So, you know, you have to clear the desk, and then you have to like lift up the the desk to readjust the legs. I usually just sit, but I make a point to stand and walk around a bit between my recordings and stuff like that. But luckily, I'm not sitting for eight hours at a time like I would at work. I'm, I'm sitting for an hour or two at a time, then getting up and making food or going on long walks, that type of thing. But standing desks are certainly the way to go. It's better It's better on the joints, mostly, really. Yeah, Scotty's, Scotty's giving her all she's got, Captain. I, I don't think he can... We're, we're, we're at full throttle. Can't, can't give her any more, Captain. <laughs> There's nothing we can do. All right, we are one, was that 1.8? Yes, 1.8 kilometers away. Probably gonna have to watch it on the speed. There is probably a train ahead of us. Yeah, very relaxing game. Look at all those beautiful farm fields here. Look guys, pigs. Um, actually, those are cows. No, they were they were clearly ostriches. All right, boys, we're almost less than a kilometer away. Get ready to pull down on that speed. Let's go full service. See what happens. Wow. 
Wow, it actually stopped. I didn't think it'd be able to stop in time. I was afraid of that. This train is awesome. Then, then again, to be fair on the German trains, they're usually hauling a lot more cargo. So I just didn't think that this train would actually be able to stop on a dime. Because it's older. Okay, let's roll up to the uh, stop and come to a full stop. Don't do this to me, train. Alright, fine. We'll do it the old-fashioned way. Wait, what's going on? Wait a minute. We came to a full stop and then we started to uh, slip, but everything should be fine now. Brakes are charged. Reverser set to forward with throttle on. Dave, you better not be messing around with that handbrake. Yeah, I guess I broke it, huh? Well, it says that we have wheel slip, but it sh that shouldn't happen unless I go over, like, 20 throttle. What the hell? Wait a minute. Yeah, wheel slip is lit up. Engine and faults is fine. What the? Yeah, maybe an ostrich got stuck. And we're just meters from the destination. No, brakes are not on. No, no. Train brake released. Loco brake at zero. Unless this is supposed to be a hundred percent. That ain't. That ain't how it's supposed to be. The brakes are off. I can see on the slider that that brakes are set. Well, let's try this. Let's set reverser to off. Then let's try this. Well, the engine started, so that won't do anything. Huh. I guess we ran over an emu, yeah. Yeah, that's the throttle right there. I'm giving it like 20%. Well, let's, let's shut her down. What the hell? Hmm. I don't even know. I've had this happen before, though, where I've stopped the train and then it kind of craps out on me. But anyway. All right, well, we made it to our destination, basically. I'm just going to save it here and I'll pick it up on my own time and do it another. All right, everyone, that is it for today's stream. And thank you very much for joining me. If you haven't already, make sure you click or tap the uh, like button and the subscribe button. And, uh, yeah. Very good. Yeah, I guess we're... Yeah, wheel, wheel slip wall stopped. I guess it's... Oh, you know what it is? We came to a stop, and the game... We're, we're, we're still technically moving because the rails are wet. So the game won't let you go until you come to a full stop again. So I think we're completely trapped. Because if I put the, if I put the brakes on emergency, we're still moving. Yeah, 0 0.1. So the game won't let you move until you completely stop. 
and then restart it. So it's like a safety thing in the game or whatnot. So yeah, you can actually hear us moving. Listen. <laughs> All right. Well, there you go. All right, everyone. Well, I guess we'll technically say I made it, but you can just say I broke it. Regardless, all we had to do was stop, and that would have been that. So thank you, everyone, for being here. I'll see you all next time for more Train Sim World. You all take care. Have a fantastic afternoon, good evening, and good night, and I'll see you soon. Goodbye, everyone.